What's up, dudes and dudes? It's your man, Evan B, broadcasting live from the Butt Cave. And uh, tonight I'm going to bring you unboxing. Um, I'm not sure what unboxing yet, but uh, let's go pick one out. So, here in the Butt Cave, I now have a awesome store of inbox blasters to pick from to do unboxings. And... Uh, so basically, this is where stuff's gonna go, while uh, while I wait to unbox something. I think let's go ahead. Let's do the Walking Dead Carl's uh, revolver blaster. What do you think, guys? You ready for some zombie action? All right, guys. So what we've got here is a Air Warriors or a Busby Air Warriors, the Walking Dead Carl's revolver. Um, this includes six suction darts. Um, it's got a range claim on the front of the package that it blasts up to 72 feet. And uh, I'm pretty excited to uh, check out. Um, this is the first blaster that I've gotten from this Walking Dead uh, Air Warriors line. And tonight was the first time I saw them for sale. They had them at uh, a local Kmart here. Uh, they also had uh, Rick's shotgun and Michonne's sword. And while I'm not super interested in getting another uh, Busby double barrel shotgun, uh, the foam sword uh, of Michonne's does look pretty cool. So I may uh, add one of those to my collection before too terribly long. Um... On the back here, it's basically giving us some uh, operating instructions. Load six darts into the barrel as shown. Pull back on the top prime to slide. Pull trigger to launch the dart up to 72 feet. Repeat steps two and three to launch another dart. Um, it's advertising Andrea's rifle and Abraham's M16. It's letting us know that this uh, front-loaded blaster is going to take all of the Busby ammunition except for the XL darts. So, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, well, let's go ahead and just crack on into it. Um, we've got an open face package, which is kind of a bummer, um, but, you know, uh, that seems to be a popular way to package blasters these days. Um, my biggest issue with them, as we've discussed in the past, is the ability for people to play with them. In fact, I myself was priming and firing the blaster while it was still in its box, um, at, in line at the store to kind of check it out. Um, pretty easy to get it out though. This is just a bunch of like garbage ties, zip ties on the back. Um, it comes with six of these gray, uh, I don't know, Walking Dead branded darts. Um, and what we've got here is a very similar to say like a, uh, a Maverick, although I don't have one handy, um, in the sense that we've got... A slide prime the doesn't appear for the uh, the barrel mech uh, to pop out so that's gonna stay in the blaster fixed in the blaster um, a really really comfortable large uh, pistol grip style handle um, I like that that's really really comfortable and for an adult sized hand that feels great um, heck if I don't really like the way this blaster performs I very well may use that grip on something else um, it's got a hammer prime kind of dually thing here that it doesn't actually work that's just for show it's actually I'm um, gonna prime at the top here sounds like it's got a beefy beefy spring um, we've got Walking Dead stickers on either side of the blaster those details are stickers that's not paint in there that's uh, as Busby is kind of known for and a common complaint is uh, these stickers that they use um, but as a whole, um, doesn't bother me at all. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, let's see. I've got a couple darts handy here. I'm going to just fire off a couple from this seated position so we can kind of get an idea how this is going to work. Alright, so we're rotating the opposite way of like a Maverick. Got some, uh, <laughs> well, the first one was a good shot. The second one was nuts. Let's go ahead and just, uh, let's just open up some new Busby darts and try that. All right, what I got here is uh, the insert from a Sentinel. Um, so I've got plenty of new Busby darts. Really, what I kind of want to do is avoid um, 
tearing into this package anymore because probably what I will do uh, when I'm done with this review um, is put this back in the box and use the, the a kind of attractive packaging of this as, uh, as display. Um, I don't see any reason why this blaster would fit into my, uh, my repertoire as far as playing. Um, I may be surprised there, uh, but um, obviously with like the hammer shot, the, you know, the one handed uh, prime of the hammer shot um, is just so good. Here's my hammer shot. Um, it's just so nice that um, any other blaster for as far as I'm concerned, um, just pales in comparison. The inability to use this one handed is really kind of going to be the downfall, even unless it performs just super duper well. And uh, with the hammer shot modified, um, it's really hard to beat it. Ooh. Now, that being said, this is really, really dang on. Not bad at all. And that uh, quick to cycle through, very easy to use. Um, there's a nice kind of grip. Um, a finger lay for this prime. So even though you do have to use two hands, it is a really, really comfortable, uh, comfortable use. Um, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll uh, switch over to uh, uh, take a look at the uh, t temporary butt range kind of thing and take some shots there so you guys can see this thing, uh, this thing in action. So hang loose just one sec. All right, guys, now what I've done is I've loaded this bad boy up with four of those new Busby darts. I've also got an Elite dart and a Vimit dart, a uh, uh, Vimit dart, then an Elite dart, um, because I tend to play more with the Vimit darts because they're cheap and I have a ton of them. Um, you can order them uh, from Amazon. Um, they come from China land. Uh, elite darts are, you know, kind of the standard, so I figured I would uh, give uh, a shot with those two. What I've got is a good old tech target set up over there in the corner. Again, this is just kind of a temporary butt range as I figure out what I'm going to be doing. But uh, let's go ahead and take some shots and see how this performs. This is about 20 feet. So really, it's got some punch. That uh, that uh, right there, the next to last one, that was that Vimit dart, and it just kind of spun wild. Uh, but that Elite dart, that uh, that really punched. I don't know if that had something to do more with the uh, the dart than it did the blaster, but so far so good, man. I really dig this. Let's uh, let's go back and uh, t uh, sit in the workshop, and uh, we'll do some final thoughts. So there you have it, guys. That is the uh, Walking Dead Busby Air Warriors uh, Carl's Revolver uh, unboxing and review. Um, it's got some punch. I, I, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna hate on uh, its performance because it really out of the box. It was really you could hear it just kind of funk funk into the target. Um, it does its job and it does it all right. Except now a 72 foot range claim. I don't know. Um, I'm disappointed in it in the sense that it's not. Uh, a hammer shot rip, hammer shot rip off. I'm really, really looking forward to and hoping that that was something Busby was going to do. And I feel like this would have been the perfect opportunity uh, for them to do that. But uh, alas. All right, guys. This is Evan B saying peace and hair grease. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being patient with me as I uh, moved into the new butt cave. Um, but I'm back and there's videos coming. Stay out of trouble. Be good. Don't get any on you. Much love, kids. Oh no!